What is happening guys? I do welcome to my channel. It's your boy and I'm back again. So we have got a beautiful Air Force One. It is simple, but it's still beautiful. However, it is a bit understated and I guess it's kind of like linked to the partnership with that company, which has been here for the last donkey years. So it is the Tiffany and Co and the Nike Air Force One Low Black Multi. So guys, I'll be show you in a couple of seconds. Before I do that, let me just promise you, if you haven't, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video as well. And bam, as you guys can see there, big ups to Soul Supply. Every single time you've got that lovely Black Air Force One with the Tiffany Blue tick on the side. So I did say um, the company has been there for a long time. So Tiffany and Co is a New York founded company, which has always been about, you know, making diamonds, making engagement rings, that sort of thing. And now they do a lot more, they do a lot more jewellery. And there's always been, I guess, that desirability amongst, um, you know, ladies who, are, who live a certain lifestyle, who've got money to buy. And certain men, you know, that have got money, they've always, you know, thought, okay, let me just buy an engagement ring from Tiffany. Because of the, because of that, like, uh, nice, I guess, teal um, colour, teal blue, Tiffany blue, on the case of the wedding ring. It's just something which is special. So with them coming, I think, into this shoe market, it's one of those strange ones. They didn't have to do it, but they've done it now. And looking at this shoe, it's got that suede, but it's that fine suede. And I think it links up with the inside of the jewelry box and how it's got that like velvet, which is maybe black, which I think when you've got a black velvet casing, on the inside, it accentuates and the diamonds sparkle a little bit better. You know, they never use a, a white background. So I think that's the story there. And then the tick obviously is the outside of the box, which is that nice Tiffany blue. Some might say it's a teal blue, you know, I don't know. And then that's obviously that signature, you know, branding logo or that brand of the company itself. And I think it's a nice thing as well. Um, it's subtle, I will say it's not overly done. Tiffany's, when you look at that jewelry range compared to other jewelry companies, they always, you know, do the minimum. And sometimes the minimum is just what you need. And as you guys can see there, it's just a simple shoe. So you've got different lacing. It's kind of like more of this kind of round lacing, which you don't usually find in the Air Force ones. That's nice. And I think um, the tag on the tongue says Tiffany as well. Now, I want to show you something which is, you know, just off there. Oh, so it appears you get like um, a few little things with this. So you get that little piece there. I don't know what that is. So it's got a Tiffany on the bottom. Then you get a brush as well for the shoe, which is a nice thing as well. Uh, when Nike um, did the Air Force One, the white and gold, I bought that. I had a toothbrush for cleaning it as well. That's nice as well. I like this as well. And it's got that chrome finish to it as well to mimic, I guess, white gold. Then you've also got the braces as well that you can put on the shoes as well to kind of give the shoe a bit of edge to it as well. I do like those braces. Oh, then you've also got the whistle as well. That's a nice little collection. I think it kind of, you know, um, meets the price they're charging because this shoe is going to be worth retail price £360. So it's not going to be cheap at all. £360. So the material should be very crazy they should just look crazy and also it also helps that you get all these little different things now i like how this person has wore some tiffany blue socks as well it just matches as well i think that kind of tiffany i think it's got that like um luxury history behind it because rolex they did i think it was a day was it a day date no i think it was a perpetual tiffany blue and that came out just after the the Patek Philippe Tiffany Blue sold at auction. Now, that watch was only 59,000 US dollars, but it sold for, I think, over $6 million. And that made the other one from Rolex, you know, you know, um, by default, be desired because of that Tiffany Blue as well. And that sold out. So retail was £4,500. And now, well, for the bubble burst in the watch market, it was reselling for £39,000. So there is something about Tiffany blue colour which will just make these shoes desirable. And speaking of which, guys, these are a reselling 
shoe that will make you three times over. Times three. I know the price is high, but I guess it separates the men from the boys, the women from the girls. So if you got your money, get your money up. 360, they're coming out. I think some people are getting exclusive access, but it'll come out on sneakers. So on Tuesday, get your wallets out. And when you buy one of these, you can resell it, as I say, depending on sizing for times three, times four, maybe not times four, but times three and a half. So yeah, get yourself ready, guys. Thanks for watching. It's your boy. And guys, make sure you guys subscribe. Watch my car videos as well. It means quite a lot to me when you guys support that as well. Shout out to my day one subscribers. Much love, guys. Have a beautiful Sunday. God bless. Mwah.